The pitch of a roof is often given as a number of inches of rise per 12 inches of run. What is the pitch of the given roof? So if this roof has 8 feet of rise per 12, 24 feet of run, uh, let's look at this, 8 feet per 24 feet. When we say per, this is just yet another way of saying divided by. That's what per means, it's, it's the division. All right, so um, I'm going to go ahead and cross off the feet and the feet. Um, this is kind of like canceling out factors, like I did right at the very end of that last, uh, the, the writing a fraction in lowest terms. Uh, you could think of it as dividing both the top and the bottom by feet, crossing off the units there. Uh, we will talk more about units later in this class, but in any case, um, I'm going to think of this fraction as 8 over 24. And... I would like it to be something over 12, because generally when you're talking about a pitch, it's going to be per 12, um, and actually it's usually per 12 inches. Um, let me give this a little more room. So if I have 8 and 24, if I'm starting out with 24 and I want to get to 12, well the way to get there is to divide by 2. So um, if you haven't gotten if you haven't gotten it yet, when we're modifying these fractions, you can multiply or divide both the top and the bottom. You do not want to do something like adding or subtracting to both the top and the bottom of the fraction, though. That won't work for you. So if I take and divide both the top and the bottom by 2, um, well, 24 divided by 2 is 12, 8 divided by 2 is 4. Uh, but there's also this, this issue of inches. I'm just going to add that to both the top and the bottom. Um, it turns out when we have feet per feet, um, you can actually convert that into inches per inches or miles per miles if you, if you so cared. So in any case, the pitch of this roof is a 4 and 12 pitch. Uh, this is yet another way that we sometimes write uh, division. Sometimes it's written as a colon, and so this would be a 4 and 12 pitch. Suppose the roof had a pitch of 14 and 12 uh, over a run of 36 inches. What is the rise? Okay, so um, a common technique that you might want to use if you're if you're working on a word problem is to draw a picture. Um, we know the run is 36 inches. We're talking about a oops, we're talking about a roof here. So let's just draw a little picture of a triangle. We're saying the run is 36 inches. Uh, we're trying to figure out what the rise is. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and call that x for now, just so I can have something to write there. All right, so in general, we're talking about rise over run, or rise to run here. My cat is trying to get my attention. Um, so your rise to run is 14 to 12. So we're, we'll do 14 over 12. Again, I'm kind of going back and forth between using these colons and using division. It's um, For our purposes, I would rather use division bars because that's what we're going to learn everything as. Um, I only use colons here because that's in the industry what I've seen it written as. Um, I've seen people using colons. So um, let's see, this is rise over run. Um, the rise to run like that. So that means the run, this number for the run, we're going to want to write on the bottom part of the fraction. It's going to be a 36. Um, and this is x. So our rise to our run on the triangle we drew here needs to be equal to 14 over 12. So x over 36 needs to be equal to 14 over 12. And you know, I haven't really done very much other than stating what was already part of the problem. This is this is a very good skill when you're when you're trying to do these word problems just to state what was given. Um, it's a good place to start. But make sure you don't modify things. Don't don't flip these fractions upside down or anything like that. If you're doing rise over run, make sure it stays as rise over run. All right, in any case, um, I have something over I have I have this number here, 14 over 12, and I want to write it as something over 36. Let me give myself some room here. So that means I can take, and if I want to modify this 12 to become a 36, I'm going to multiply it by 3, which I also have to do to the top. So that means the top part of this, instead of writing an x, I can now actually figure out the value. 14 times 3, which is 42. So that means over a run of 36 inches, 
Um, I don't know, maybe this is the, the door, the width of the door, let's say. Um, you have the, the, uh, your, the, the roof is going to be 42 inches higher on this side of the door than it is on that side of the door. I'm not sure exactly why you would want to do this, but, you know, this is, we're not trying to tackle real world problems just yet. Um, the real world problems, well, we try to focus on a little bit more 